everyone, it's Todd here from Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Want to learn how to make coffee cake? Join me today and find out how. Only on Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. I'm Todd and welcome to Baking with Fox Hollow Kitchen. Well, as I said in the beginning of the video, we're making coffee cake. Today I'm going to show you a fun, simple recipe. So quick, so easy, and so good. So if you're ready, then let's have some fun. Alright, we're going to go ahead and start our coffee cake with crumb topping. To start off, we're going to go ahead and make our crumb topping. With that, we're going to take one and one third cup of brown sugar. Mm -hmm. into our ninja food processor. To that we're going to add one and a half cups of flour. Okay. A tablespoon of cinnamon. Okay. And 12 tablespoons of butter. Now you see we've actually cut this up into chunks and it's pretty hard as we've put it in the refrigerator just to get it a little more solidified and that makes a nice real general uh, crumb topping with everything so make sure we get everything in here and we're just going to pulse this till we get pea sized crumbs then now Dave what is it about a coffee cake that just makes everything so yummy with oh, it? Oh it's the cinnamon and the sugar it's, it's just awesome Let's see how we did here. I think that looks pretty good, Dave. Looks pretty good, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and move on. Okay, next up, we're gonna start off with our dry ingredients. We're gonna take two and two third cup of flour into our mixing bowl here. Okay. Two teaspoons of baking powder. half a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, Dave, everybody at home, we always reiterate this, what's the difference between baking soda and baking powder? Not much. Uh, baking powder has acids in it that activate the uh, sodium bicarbonate, where baking soda is just strictly sodium bicarbonate. That's it. Okay. And then lastly, we're going to have a teaspoon of, or half a teaspoon of salt, excuse me, they've got a little tongue tied. Okay. And we're just going to whisk that together here. Okay, I think we're ready to move on then. All right, now that we have our dry ingredients, let's go ahead and make our wet ingredients here. We're gonna start off with taking one and a half cups of sugar into our uh -huh. trusty mixer here. And to that, we're gonna add a cup of butter at room temperature, so it's a little more softer than normal. Just trying to get all of that buttery goodness uh -huh. scraped out of here. Now this shot here is going to be a couple different steps here so just bear with me. We're going to go ahead and mix together our butter and our sugar until it's fluffy and then we got two more parts to this. Okay. Alright Dave what do you think? You think that looks pretty good I there? Think that looks really good. Okay, now we're going to add four large eggs at room temperature. Mm -hmm. And four teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. And we're just going to mix it again until it's just combined. Now that looks pretty good in combined there, I would say so. When you say Dave. Oh, that looks good. All right, next up, we're going to add a cup of sour cream. Yum. Now, what is it about sour cream that just makes baking really, really yummy? Well, the hot fat content in the sour cream will keep it nice and moist. It'll be a nice moist cake. 
know, anytime you use buttermilk or sour cream or something like that, it, it uh, traps a lot of moisture in the batter. Okay. So it's really good. And we're just gonna mix it again here. Yep. As I said, this is a lot of moving parts here with this. We're just gonna make sure it's gonna combine here. All right, Dave, I think that looks pretty good there. What Looking do you think? Good, yeah. Okay. Lastly, and fingers crossed that we don't make a mess here. Yeah, no. We're gonna add our flour mixture from before, which hopefully I can do this without. Getting it over. Yeah, you'll get it. Aha! There you go. Okay. Success. Now we're just gonna mix this together until it's just combined. And then we have a little bit of milk we're gonna add to it. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and add a quarter of a cup of milk. So we're gonna have to scrape that too. But yeah, we are definitely gonna have to scrape the sides of the bowl. That looks great. But yes, you don't wanna over mix this though. So, just get everything till it's gonna combine here. Which I think we're on the right path. Yep. Alright, I'm going to go Perfect. ahead and scrape this and then we'll get ready for our next step. Alright, let's go ahead and get our cake ready to go here in the oven. We're going to take half our batter here from earlier. Now I'm trying my best here to kind of make it sh make sure it is... That looks good. Just want to do half of the batter, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Make sure it's spread out good and flat here. Mm -hmm. Now you guys know I'm a little bit of a bull in a china shop when it comes to stuff with this stuff. So mm -hmm. just going to do my best here with it. But this is going to definitely be a nice moist cake. Mm -hmm. Now comes the fun part. We're going to go ahead and take our crumble we made earlier. I'm going to put half of that on top of this. Oh, okay. And then we're going to take the rest of our batter. And just like before, spread it out, nice, even, and flat. Mm -hmm. and well, as Dave nice. said, we're going to have to kind of take it a little more yeah. gentle. Just going to kind of do my best here with this. Mm -hmm. How's it looking so far, Dave? Looking good. Let's see if get any of that off. Huh? Okay. And then lastly, we're going to take the rest of our crumb topping that we made mm -hmm. and put it on top of that. And then we already have the oven preheated for 350 degrees. Yes. And we're going to bake this for about 40 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. And just test it with a toothpick. Right. To see if it's done. And if the toothpick comes out clean, you're good to go then. Okay. Okay, last step for our cake, we're going to go ahead and make our icing for it. We're going to take two cups of powdered sugar. Okay. To that, we're going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. And to that, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. All right. Now, could you use milk in this situation yes. too? Yes, you could. 
Heavy cream is a little creamier, but you can use milk if you want. And we're just going to whisk this together here until <laughs> everything's nice and... All right, let's go ahead and add our icing to our cake here. Now, you guys know I'm no expert at this, but... Just so gonna take a little bit at a time, just kind of drizzle it over. Okay. There we go. I think I think that's pretty well covered. That looks pretty good. Alrighty. It's time for my favorite part, the taste test. So let's see how we did here. Mm. Nice, moist. The crumbly topping just adds an extra layer to it. Enjoy, guys. Wrapping up today, I want to thank you again for joining me and encourage you to check out our friends and support channels listed in the description below. But before we go, always remember, it's good times and good food on Baking with Fox Ella Kitchen. I'll see y'all soon. If you like this video or any of our other videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for future shows.